Good day everyone and welcome to another night of astrophotography. That's right, we have clear skies once again. Strangely enough, it's been a very, very wet winter and it's meant to be a very wet spring as well. However, I'm going to uh, certainly enjoy these clear nights when we get them, while we get them. And there's even a bit of a moon happening at the moment, but I don't care. I'm taking this moment to shoot some astro. In fact, Tonight, we're going to be starting a project. That's right. This project is going to take 27 days, or 27 clear nights to complete. Now, it's a target that isn't really imaged that much. I feel like it's sort of left out a little bit. The, uh, the little guy, I don't know why. I think we should all uh, one day just focus our telescopes, especially here in the Southern Hemisphere, and image this guy and uh, and see what we all come up with. Anyway, this is going to be a uh, nine panel mosaic. It's going to be three nights to each panel. Now, tonight with the twins is HA and R channel and red. And then night number two, two will be um, green and blue channel. And then night number three is going to be luminance. So that should give me enough time to get those luminance filters that I need. Well, I cannot believe the luck we're having right now. It is incredibly still, and I'm very excited about tonight. So I'll tell you what I'll be imaging later on. All right, everyone, it's uh, dark enough now. To get the twins all fired up. I've just powered the, uh, I've just got the battery pack out and connected it up, so uh, let's hope it lasts throughout the night. Um, yeah, everything is all pretty much ready to go, so I'm going to uh, jump inside in a second where it's nice and warm and start the imaging session. Uh, but before I do that, I will let you guys know exactly what we're shooting. We're going to be photographing for this nine panel nine panel uh, mosaic the SMC the small manginite cloud um, it's uh, I don't really see a lot of images of the SMC uh, so and I haven't I've kind of photographed it a little bit but I haven't given it my all so I figured why not let's get the twins on the SMC and, uh, and start this project. I cannot wait. It's going to be quite lengthy. It's going to take quite some time. So uh, we'll, we'll see how much of it I get done um, this year. And uh, yeah, then we'll probably move on to the next. All right. So I'm going to get nice and warm inside, fire up the twins, and get imaging. Today guys, it is uh, night number two for the SMC project and night number one, I didn't really capture as much data as what I had hoped for or wished for. I ended up getting a lot of cloud coming through about halfway um, through the night. So I captured roughly around about three hours of data. I may look at um, going back and capturing some of that data at a later date um, just to boost that up a bit. I would like roughly around about five hours. but. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But tonight we are going to capture um, in the green channel and the blue channel and hopefully we get a good night of imaging. There's no, uh, well there is some cloud forecast but that's for um, you know, around about sunrise anyway. So fingers crossed we get a uh, good run. The moon will rise um, at some point throughout the night uh, but it shouldn't really affect the imaging session too much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, fire these up and uh, start collecting some data for our uh, SMC Panel 1 project. And I'm pretty damn excited to see just how well this image is going to turn out. 
G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, I'm pretty excited uh, about this uh, imaging session tonight. We are now onto our luminance data for the uh, for panel number one of the SMC project. And I'm really excited to actually see what this turns out um, to look like. A lot of work is gonna be going into this and uh, I, I just, I fingers crossed that everything um, sort of works out. We are shooting in mono. Um, so that's a uh, relatively, I guess, new in a way uh, to me, um, as well as uh, yeah, it's. Oof, I cannot stress how much I'm stressed about this imaging session and hoping that it all goes to work together well. So we got red, uh, we've cap captured red, we've captured hydrogen alpha, we've captured green, and we've captured blue, and now we're going a twin session on luminance. Now, the luminance filters I'm using are the um, Astronomic UVIR um, L1 cut filters, and, uh, and they are the 36mm um, unmounted versions. I do have the 2-inch versions on their way, um, but unfortunately they just haven't arrived in time, so I've had to retrofit it to the beta um, setup that I've got here. Hopefully, hopefully that works too. So a lot of stress going on right now for the last panel fingers crossed it's the last panel we haven't had a lot of clear nights lately and uh and the last thing i want to do is have to reshoot a whole night of uh of images so um yeah let's just wait for it to get dark fire the, the big bad twins and uh, get imaging Well, everyone, just like the whole theme of this first panel, uh, clouds have decided to rock up, and it looks like I better um, pack up pretty quick because the forecast is showing rain is on its way. Didn't see that one coming. Just goes to show you the sort of inconsistency, inconsistent weather we've been having, and I'm pretty damn tired, if you can't tell. Um, we probably captured around about five, I'd say five hours of uh, luminance data. Um, I seem to be losing a fair bit of, um, I seem to be dropping a fair few frames between um, dithering. So I'm not too sure, I'm roughly losing about 15 minutes worth of data every hour um, because of the dithering. So I'm going to have to try and work on, on fixing that to um, hopefully maybe speed things up a little bit because it's synchronized dithering. And sometimes um, the clients are waiting on each other and, uh, and that's holding things up a bit. You know, the actual dither itself and then the, the uh, stabilization after that and then uh, imaging again isn't that bad of a, a problem. It's the whole... Um, and I think it's the whole Nina synchronization. It's just the clients talking to each other a little bit uh, sometimes takes a, a little bit too long, I think. I'll have to uh, work it out and, uh, and see. And if any of you guys do dual imaging um, and use Nina for dual uh, synchronization of dithering, let me know in the comments um, how you go. All right. Well, that's it. For me and panel number one, fingers crossed. Let's throw all the uh, all the data together and see what we come up with. And, uh, and fingers crossed, turns out all right. All right, guys, that's it for me. So, until next time, take. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I almost forgot. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, guys, if you've enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and subscribe. 
Correct. I'm out of here. See you.